Hundreds of rounds of ammunition, a stolen gun, and multiple stolen vehicles. That was the haul today in North Memphis. Investigators raiding the home of Carlos War, charging him with running a chop shop. WRG Shea Arthur is live tonight with more on what detectives found. And Shea, you're also going to tell us how police were tipped off. Fill us in. Mm -hmm. Hey, Greg, yeah, well, get this. Police say it was actually a victim who spotted his stolen car parked in front of that house that was acting like a chop shop. Tonight, multiple cars remain outside a North Memphis home off Lexington Circle, but police say earlier this week there were even more. Yesterday, a man told officers he spotted a stolen Infinity parked in the home's driveway. Sure enough, when detectives checked, it came back stolen. The Auto Theft Task Force was called in, who noticed cars in various states of disrepair. Car parts and tools spread throughout the area. They also found a whole lot more as they continued their investigation. A KTM motorcycle reported stolen out of South Haven. A 1978 Monte Carlo stolen out of a Midtown yard nearly two years ago. Inside the home, they found a Beretta handgun reported as stolen from the parking lot of this South Memphis factory during a rash of car break-ins nearly a year ago. Three other guns, hundreds of rounds of ammunition, and a vehicle programmer commonly used to reprogram the key or key fob of vehicles. When investigators checked the stolen Infinity, that Infinity that initially led them to the bust, it was no longer operable because the vehicle had been reprogrammed. Detectives arrested Carlos War for possession of all the stolen property. He's also a convicted felon. And Greg, investigators say he admitted to driving those stolen vehicles as well as owning those guns. We're live in downtown Memphis tonight. Shay Arthur, WREG, Mission 3.